Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video we are looking at the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series Joker figure. This is one that many people have obviously been wanting. It's the Joker. Who doesn't want the Joker? Plus it's from the first series, not the second one, so it makes him even better. And for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to talk about the figure though so you can see in detail what you need to know if you want to decide to buy this or not. Uh, first thing is he stands about six and a quarter inches tall at the top of his hair. Uh, that's just shy of 16 centimeters if you are interested in that. And he comes with a pretty decent batch of accessories, decent in the size, not necessarily the usability. First thing is this, which <sighs> I vaguely remember that from the show. I'm not sure it's a necessary accessory, but they, they included it. And I, I, the seam is down the middle. I'm assuming it, it has to go on that way. You would think the seam would be down the other side, but it's not. So, I don't know. Really odd choice of accessory. Kind of strange execution. Also, not really going to use that. We do get a uh, telescope. Looks like it would come apart or something, but as far as I can tell, focus. As far as I can tell, it doesn't. A little bit of blue paint on there. That's it. That's not a telescope. What are those called? Periscope. That's not a periscope either. Uh... Maybe it is a telescope. No, I don't know. Whatever those are called. I don't remember. We have two gripping hands, which I'll talk about the design on the wrist joint in a minute. So two gripping hands, two gripping hands that are slightly different, and then the two fist hands that come on him. So as you can see, the cuffs hide the joint mostly, so it doesn't really matter. But this is a really ugly joint. It's not matched to the sculpt at all. It just cuts into the hand. The glove wrinkle doesn't match the joint. It's very strange. It's not likely to break because it's oversized, but it's still just a really ugly joint. But you can't see it mostly, so don't worry about it too much. You can only see it a little bit once the hands are actually on the figure, so no big deal. We also get a, it looks like a pearl necklace, I guess that's what that's supposed to be. I, I don't really remember if these are specific references or not. I've seen the show many times in its entirety, but it's been a long time, so I don't know. We get a molded pearl necklace, I guess. So there's that. We get what I assume is a comb. It's semi-transparent. Maybe it's not. I don't know. It looks like it catches the light a little bit. But a little blue comb, which I assume is just a comb for him combing his hair. And then we get what is either a knife or a pick, or a s screwdriver. I'm guessing it's a, like an ice pick. Again, I don't really remember, but it is included, so that's fine. He also comes with another one of these turnaround bases, so you can see the character outline, and you can see the upright that is really ugly and goofy, which I imagine nobody's really going to use. But it is included, and I guess it's better than nothing. Um, it probably costs almost nothing to make, so that's why they include these things. But I would rather they take that almost nothing and put it into something useful. These are okay. Really the best part about these little stages is just the character turnarounds. Those are kind of cool. That's really it though. And that's it for the accessories. So let's talk about paint. All of the purples match, so that's a good thing. Most of the DCUC versions of Joker don't have matching colors, so that's already a step up. The face is painted and sculpted fairly well. Um, I have a couple spots of not white on his face, but I don't know if you're gonna even be able to tell because the uh, I need to work on my lighting setup. It's just too harsh for some of these lighter colors You can see on his nose and eyebrow and cheek. He's missing a little bit of white But mostly it looks really good and they did a decent job with that green streak in his hair to make it look like the cartoon And then the eyes and mouth are actually painted really well, so I'm happy about that His little thing up here is painted well the little flower is and then the rest is all basically just plain old purple which I'd like to comment on the sculpt. It looks really good. It looks just like it should for the most part, uh, other than the hips. So other than the hips being a little strange, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, it looks really, really good. Definitely a nice piece to put on the shelf. Without a doubt, you need to have this Joker if you're collecting the animated series figures. But let's talk about the articulation. The head, double jointed and really well hidden. It you can really just pose it however you want to. It works really well. The only issue, if you want to call it an issue, is there's kind of a thick gap. Not thick gap, but like a thick chunk of neck up here that's not flush. I wouldn't consider that a complaint. You know, they have to sculpt it somehow, so I'm okay with that. Plus, if you're picking out things like that, then that is being too picky. It doesn't bother me. It shouldn't bother you. 
Uh, I like it a lot. I love that the head is really poseable and for the Joker you need to be able to put his head to the side like that to make him look a little bit more crazy. So that works. I love that a lot. I love it a lot. Uh, for the shoulders, bam, really well done. It looks good. It works well. I really like that. Uh, due to the sculpt, you can't bring the arm all the way forward, but the jacket is soft, so it works much better than Two-Face. Definitely enough. I'm, I'm really fine with the shoulder. I think it looks good and it works well. Happy. Elbows, um, you can see right out of the package, and I didn't do anything. That's how it came. You already have paint missing on the joints, so that's not, it's, it's kind of an eyesore. It's not a big deal, but it is a deal. And then we have our bicep swivel in there. We can bring the bicep up all the way to the side, but they sculpted the bicep down in the front. So you can't bring the arm all the way forward like that. So that's one of those things that I think they should really work the kinks out of because it's hindering the articulation that they're advertising for these figures. So that could definitely be better, but it's not as bad as some of the other ones we've seen. So I'm okay with that. And then for the wrists, you already saw they swivel and they hinge. Um, they'll work. They're a little stiff, but you can use those hinges in there because they're oversized. It will allow you to use the hinge while the sleeve is down, so to speak. We have a waist twist right there, so that's fine. The hips going forward, it's not so bad. He does end up with a giant butt though, just the way it looks. The way they made this joint is really strange. It's a huge, huge swivel for the hips, and then a really huge and awkward looking hinge for the hips going out. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. Both hip joints are really weird and mostly useless because of the ankles, but we'll get to that in a second. The knee joints, I heard a lot of people say they weren't looking forward to those knee joints. I had a suspicion that they were going to be okay, and I am happy to be correct. Uh, other than being very limited in their range of motion, that knee joint is not ugly. I think it's fine for what they had to work with. They needed to have that pleat going down the front, and it works very well for the most part. Unfortunately, again, the ankles only have a swivel. There's no hinge or rocker or anything else in the ankle, so any articulation you use from the waist down, you can't use it unless you don't want him to stand because you can't adjust for it in the feet. So you can put him like that and kind of balance him, but that's about it. You can't hinge the ankles, you can't do anything because they're just there's no articulation. So everything from here to here is useless. So he's going to stand there mostly, which I guess is okay for the Joker, but it would have been nice if they put some ankle articulation in there. I mean, they articulated Robin's ankles, and they're half the size, so it would have been nice if they did that. Otherwise, really good figure. Definitely recommend it. It, it could be better, but it's good enough for what it is, so I do recommend it. I got it at a Big Bad Toy Store. Get it now while it's still in stock. There's a link in the description. Uh, once these sell out, I don't know if uh, DCC reissues things very often, and I imagine these are going to be pretty high in demand, so go grab them while you can, guys. Uh, make sure you click that like button if you like the video. It helps me out, and I do appreciate it. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.